All right, it seems we are back. But I forgot to unmute because I'm an idiot. So, so Hi, we're <laughs> back. <laughs> so Zeke, Zeke is like idealistic in, and you're more pragmatic is what you're saying. That that could be a good way to look at it. Yeah. I like that. I like that better because we we have the same we have the same goal which is something we haven't like discussed yet. Yeah. Okay. Clan goal. So you're so Zeke is all like about this idealistic thing and you're sitting in the background like this is this isn't going to work like that. But right. I'm going to support you anyway cuz you're my brother and right. clan mate. Clan. Whatever. Clan. I'm going to I'm going to support him. He's brother and clan but yeah. Are we? Are, so that sounds like now. a lot of fun. Yeah, we're back. Okay. Yeah, we're Mike, back. With the, except, with the exception <laughs> of my skill points, my character is done. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Yeah. Your your exception of skill points? How do you mean? I I don't usually play characters that have skill points. <laughs> or at least I haven't. Well, there are no skill really points started. in D and D Fifth Edition. Okay. And, like you and like. Yeah, you're done then. Okay, good. Um, no, like essentially what done. happens uh, in fifth edition, what happens is you have proficiency on a given skills. Okay. Um, and those are based on your background and your class. And I presume you already have chosen those. I, I, see, I see for rogue, it says four. So you, can, you get to choose four different skills. Okay, then I think I'm done. Hold on. Let me actually <laughs> read with you here before I'm talking out of my ass. Okay. Um, because yeah, like essentially, gets you two more. Is that what it does? Sorry. What what, what is X? Let me, I have. Let me bring up the player's handbook. If um, yes, I'm guessing at what expertise does. Like expertise is, I think, a level two thing, so you shouldn't be too worried about it yet. At first level, choose two of your skill proficiencies. Oh, never mind. Proficiencies <laughs> and your proficiency with thieves' tools. Your proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability check you make that uses either of the chosen proficiencies. Okay. I, I, I have never played a rogue myself because I think I, ha it's... I have it in fifth edition. Well, this character was a bard or originally. Ah, so okay. I'm bard, this way. Hold on. Give me one second. I will read with you. Um, let's see. Choose four. For, yeah, you get to choose four skills indeed. So make sure you have four chosen out of your rogue list, as well as the ones you get from uh, your background. If you got the background skills as well. So he's got six total. Depending so on his background. Six, yeah. Like, what is your background? Uh, I don't haven't picked yet because then you're not done. No, I, ha I have it. I have it picked. I'm just on like a kind of a weird sheet for. Digital. Oh, okay. I actually don't have the background on here, but it is six. It looks like I went with <laughs> acrobatics, deception, intimidation, sleight of hand, stealth, and survival. That doesn't All right. help. Well, if you have the player's handbook, make sure to uh, check out the background because it's also uh, on so, based on that you can also get gear and such. So. Well, I have backgrounds, but they're ones that were like, like I, I made up. <laughs> I don't know what bonuses they like. You don't oh, like well, your ideal, your bond, your flaw, those things, uh, personality traits. Oh wait, hold on! I pressed a button. I pressed the button. button. Hold, hold on! I pressed the button. We're back. Okay, sorry, my book. It is large. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I actually picked a, a specific background on my oh, okay, just... background, but it says personality traits, ideal bond, and flaw. Those. Yeah, I mean, those I'm... things. Um. Yeah, you can basically make those yourself. Um, okay. Talk me through your character. Perhaps I can see what background fits you best in like the player's just, handbook. Just, just what he's about. Yeah, yeah. Just, just like okay. So, uh, personality traits. I'd rather make a new friend than an enemy. Ideal. Honor among thieves. Bond, I will not allow those close to me to perish due to my failures. And flaw, if I can find the easy way out, I will take it. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> I added a, a little bit of a backstory for him. Uh, a shadow of his former self, Irving Riley lives a life of former infamy. Once lunging across the rooftops of the social elite, Irving once prowled the known world as the notorious and mysterious man in black, a masked vigilante and wooer of women who loved nothing more than the roll of the dice and the gasps that which followed. Flashy and confident to the razor-thin border of arrogance, Irving found the end of his lucky spree with a face full of fire and the ashes of the only friends he ever knew. Now slumming in the wine sinks and brothels, chasing the clink of glass, the man in black finds his soul restless, and the now threadbare mask a constant reminder of a price long paid the need for redemption 
and the chance at one last score. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Like, it sounds like you're going with, like, a criminal-ish background-ish. What was that? Yeah, it sounds like you're going with, like, a bit of a criminal-ish background. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Big time. But there's a background yeah. called criminal uh, in the player's handbook, obviously. And you get uh, you get some proficiency, you get some skill proficiency, you get a tool proficiency, too, in fact. And you get some equipment. So if you have the player's handbook, make sure to note that down. But yeah, your skill proficiencies are deception and stealth. That's what you get from being a criminal. Now, then in the rogue, you get to choose four different skills. So you get, indeed, you get six in total. So make sure you have six different skills. Deception, stealth, and then four chosen from the rogue list. So make sure you've got that. Deception, stealth, and then four more. Yeah, deception and stuff you get from a criminal background. Yep. And then you get to choose four from acrobatics, athletics, deception, insight, intimidation, investigation, perception, performance, persuasion, sleight of hand, and stealth. Of course, uh, stealth and such, they, uh, they already drop. So you have uh, okay. still a pretty big I'll... list to choose from. Okay, I will take... Acrobatics, All perception, right. persuasion. Was sleight of hand on that list? Oh shit! I, I already forgot. <laughs> it's stealth and um. Hold on. Stealth, stealth and deception. Because sleight of hand is not on there. No, no, no. Okay. Um. I'm gonna do thieves' tools. Yeah, you get those as well. You get thieves' tools. Uh. From the criminal background as well so yeah uh, all right hold on you get uh also a type of gaming set that you get uh, proficiency with mm -hmm. so i don't know what that is uh, i have to look into that um what, what, no that's, that, that's like that's like a deck of cards loaded dice yeah yeah, things like, yeah that. things like that yeah so yeah okay uh, so you know what um let's see just get the criminal out of the way deception and stealth make sure to uh make that uh hit that little check mark for proficiency yep and then also uh what others one did you want to go with acro which uh, sleight of hand uh, yeah sleight of hand was what i was hoping for yeah yeah but you can do that it's on the list so okay yeah and i think that's one two three four oh, that's five uh i guess i'll go with performance okay so what do you have in total then like which ones do you have Acrobatics, deception, performance, persuasion, sleight of hand. Oh shit! Wait a minute. I forgot. Thieves' tool counts as one. Drop performance. No, uh, thieves' school. Uh, thieves' tools are separate from your skill proficiencies. Oh, I thought. I thought. Okay. No, Acrobatics, just thought... deception, performance, persuasion, sleight of hand, stealth. Yeah, you sound very thief-like. Yeah, tool proficiencies are different than skill proficiencies. Gotcha. Um, it's just that with tool proficiencies, if you're trying to do a certain thing, you sometimes get a bonus. For example, if you have tools, uh, th thieves' tools, I believe you get like an extra bonus on, like, let's say, doing unlocking on certain locks and such. So you have mm -hmm. to make sure to keep track of that. Like because you were talking about expertise, right? Let's actually dr drop performance for perception. I think actually that makes sense. I keep I keep forgetting how bad my stats are, and I'm like I don't, I don't even I don't even have I don't even have a base. <laughs> I'm gonna Percept. be lucky flat rolling. So all right, as long as you make sure that you have stealth um, and deception, those are locked in as a criminal background, and then choose four from the rogue list. You're fine. Then yep. you're all good. Um, let's see, expertise. At first level, you choose two of your skill proficiencies or one of your skill. Wait, what? Two of your skill proficiency or one of your skill and your proficiency with thieves tools. Your proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability check you make using the either chosen. Okay, fair enough. So you get to use expertise. You can either choose uh, two skills um, that get double your ex uh, double your um, proficiency bonus. Uh, stealth and sleight of hand for that. Yeah. So you don't want to pick. Uh, you don't want to pick thieves tools. 
Oh, yeah, I do want thieves tools. Okay, so the, if you, um, if you pick thieves tools, you have to. You can only pick one other skill. Can I choose to make it? This is to make it proficient, right? No, this is to make it expertise. You already oh, have proficiency right, uh, with yeah, it. Yeah. Stealth, st stealth, and th thieves tools. All right. Yeah. I like that. If you have a particular well, sleight of hand or thieves tools, more useful for disarming traps. It's thieves tools, isn't it? Disarming traps. I believe it is Unlocks, thieves tools. Yes. Doors, disarming traps, all those things. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you use thieves tools for those. Yes. Yeah. I'm not. In, uh, I'm not entirely uh, familiar yet with the tools, but I believe that's the case. Yeah. I will have to read up on it to be more specific, but yeah. Um, so what that means is instead of proficient, you become expert. Uh, you become an expert in it, and it means your proficiency bonus is doubled. If you have a sheet in front of you, there might be another check mark for it. Yep, that's perfect. Then click that on, and you should be good. Yeah. Got, got. So you should, at level f at level one, you should be getting a plus four to stealth, and a plus four to anything you do with the thieves tools. Just based on your proficiency. It's calculating plus five for some reason. I don't know why. That's because you probably have a. That means you have a, probably a plus one in your decks. Oh yeah. I thought you were talking about net total. No a total yeah. uh, like that. It's a plus. If you use your expertise, it's a plus four because your proficiency is doubled, plus your mo uh, ability modifier, which would be a five. Yeah. And, five. Which is still pretty good. Uh, yeah. That's actually exceptionally good. Yeah. You, you got right. some. Uh, you got some moves. You have moves. Like you, you know, Jagger. Jagger would be nice proud. Moves. Nice moves. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's go. Um, I actually want to read up on tools. Then I wonder where those are. And of course, you get things like sneak attack and thief scan as well. So make sure that you note down your equipment for your rogue as well as your equipment for the criminal background. Um, because those are important. Because I believe on the background you get money as well, and uh, your weapons are based on your equipment and such. Unless you really want something different, then uh, let me know. We'll walk through it. I I know, Token. I know, that's why I was thinking, yeah. Like, rogues get some very nifty shit. I just have to make sure I can read the tool somewhere properly. To make use of what I got. Well, plus five is nothing to laugh at at level one, to be honest. Most people would kill for a level uh, plus five to anything. There are people plus in the stat who's, who's, There are people in this party whose base stat will give them a plus four. Yeah, I'm just hanging on. That. Yeah, you know, yeah, that, that, that's I mean, true. Yeah. In I'm all sorry, fairness, I'm... they rolled exceptionally stupid high, though, so it's unfair to compare yourself wolf, to them. Wolf, wolf. No, I love you the. You don't. You don't gotta make me feel good. I like my oh, I, I will <laughs> make you feel good. I will make you feel good all day and night. <laughs> Alright, anyway. You got a five! It's so good! Five is good! You, dude, you have to understand, I am walking from a perspective that one of the last campaigns that I played, I had minuses and everything. A plus five, I got at like level three or four. Like, that's... I was a paladin, I wasn't a rogue, granted, but, you know. I had dreams and they were crushed. Anyway, thieves tools. <laughs> This set of tools includes a small file, a set of lock picks, a small mirror mounted on a metal handle, a set of narrow bladed scissors, and a pair of pliers. Proficiency with these tools lets you add your proficiency bonus to any ability checks you make disarming traps or open locks. There you go. Uh, can you tell me what the herbalist tools do while you're right there? Herbalist kit. This kit contains kit. a variety of instruments such as clippers, mortar, and pedal, pestle? and That's pouches cool. and vials used by herbalists to create remedies and potions. Proficiency with this kit lets you add your proficiency bonus to any ability checks you make to identify or apply herbs. Also, proficiency with this kit is required to create anti-toxin and potions of healing. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Now, cantrips... What cantrips you can cast as many times as you want? Yeah, they're essentially the uh, the auto attacks of casters. Okay, okay, yeah. that's like, unless that's you take a ut unless you take a utility cantrip like light. In that case, you can just like light, 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 and never run out. You have infinite light at that point. Cantrips are but, like 
like a cantrip acid splash. I can just use that every time. You can use that back to back to back to back to back to back. Okay. It never runs that's out. That's, 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 that. that's the beautiful thing about cantrips in fifth edition. They are essentially, that's one of the beautiful things I like about cantrips. Because in 3.5, where I learned D&D, is that yeah, spellcasters... D&D second edition. All right, you're old, it, I get it. I um, two spells a day. I got to cast it twice, and then I had to rely on my fucking daggers or something. Exactly, right. and that's what I hated at 3.5. So I never played a caster. That's why my hatred for casters comes from as well. They were so fucking boring. Uh, at le until you hit later levels. Yeah, then, then they're OP. <laughs> yeah, and then they're broken as shit. <laughs> But in, in fifth get, edition, good on the other side, yeah, yeah. In, in fifth edition, uh, I'm not sure how it was in four edition, but we don't speak about four edition. Four edition was shit. Uh, fifth edition, um, we have cantrips, and they are unlimited spells that are just like they are just second nature to you. They are literally unlimited, and you can just cast them back to back. So even if you're just auto attacking, essentially, you still are auto attacking with a magical thing, so you still feel like a spellcaster, and that is an exceptional thing. That, uh, that I really like about cantrips. I love cantrips. And the best thing about that as well, even if you multi-class or not multi-class, they level with you if they're, if they're damage-based. So the stronger you become, the stronger your cantrips become. And that's a very wonderful technique of handling these cantrips. And it's 10 out of 10, would cantrip again. I love it. <laughs> I, I, I love cantrips. That's, cantrips are the reasons why I would prefer playing a caster in D&D 5th edition. I love that shit. Hell, there's a okay. feat that can give you a cantrip. Just like simple, like you can read magic. Yeah. You can write. You it's, can it's, have it's, a hand that grabs the pen to write magic. You can have a hand. hand that grabs a like scope that you can use to read the magic that is written on the book. Like it used to be very, very fucking simple. Cantrip was basically like. No, uh, every you took cantrip as one of your first level spells. Well, yeah. cantrips, like you, yeah, they were they were extremely simple, but they are essentially now they're, they're a little different. They're different now. Yeah, yeah, like they're 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 especially small magical effects, essentially still, but yeah. they they well, definitely the have spell more weight. Cantrip from second edition is has been replaced by prestidigitation in this one, which is a cantrip. Which yeah. if you don't take prestidigitation, you're a f I, I don't have any. Respect you're an idiot. You. You're an idiot, um, and you should be removed. So like that, things. yeah. It's like that's it's you can do so much stupid creative shit even in combat with that one cantrip, as right, well as right. with uh, the clerics have thermo thermometry ther thermod. They can basically do acts of God. They can make little earthquakes happen. You, you know what? You know what? I'm foreign. Deal with it, okay? <laughs> I'm foreign. Deal with it. <laughs> you know I hate all of you. You know, see, fucking Americans, no respect for other cultures. Um, you're a fucking, you're a fucking culture I hate. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's over, guys. It's game over. I can't handle that. Yeah, thermometry. Thermod I can't even pronounce it. I'm fucking... Anyway, each... Thaumaturgy. That's the one. Yeah, that's the cleric one. I think druids have druid craft. Uh, and then, of course, the, the sorcerers have prejudice dissertation thingy. There's small magical effects based on your sensor, uh, sensory uh, things, and you can like open doors with it that are unlocked or unlocked, and things like that. And they're really, they're really wonderful. You can do little magical effects. You can, I think even with one of them, you can clean things. And yeah, uh, yeah you can just clean. Oh, you're dirty. Now you're not. It's beautiful. I love these magical effects, and there's so much role play you can do with it. Uh, even in combat, you can do a lot of great things with them and if you don't pick them you're just an idiot um, um oh, so dragons can't the dragonborn can't see in the dark i didn't know that no they cannot unfortunately which surprised me as well but i think it's just a balance thing really they're already really good plus just take light you can always see in the dark you're a sorcerer if you don't take light i will second guess every step you make <laughs> so, yeah it's a simple like that's that's right away take some light yeah, light, light's such a good spell. Oh, it's dark. No, it's not. Then again, everybody has torches out of out of their ass. So, well, most times you're playing a race where you don't need to choose light. Most races see in the dark. Honestly, yeah. unless you're playing a human, like you don't take light very often. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like uh, the only thing that you know, if you play a warlock, it's the the only way I can see somebody get dark vision is if you play a warlock, they have a neat little thing that gives them dark vision. 
which actually makes playing a warlock um, less effective if you play a race that already has dark vision. You get to lo you lose out on some options. It's beautiful. Torches are in the dark. You don't have uh, dark vision as a genasi. Not that I saw. All right, there you go. Yeah, you can levitate, so you know. But I can hold my breath for forever. Yeah, so. I know. Like you can take a swim and just never come up. Right, it's beautiful. I can just hang out at the bottom of the water. <laughs> just like you know, I'll be fine, and you will be, as long as you don't get. Oh, there's bees it. chasing me. I can just dive under the water forever. Mm-hmm. Forever, He's ever. The first to die. I, I hate that to say that, but. What? You have the best stats first to die. Oh me. Best stats first to die. Mm, put money on it. Times. Oh, I hate. No, I'll, I'll protect him. I'll protect him. Mathematically I'll him. improbable. He's gonna be die. He's gonna be in trouble constantly. I guarantee. Dude, he's in Ganesi. Um, yeah, he just like I'm flies be in away trouble because because I just want to hit shit, man. He literally. Oh, I'm in trouble. I just levitate away. Bye. That's that's <laughs> fucking Buby right there. Just I'm just I, my levitate call me. and use my wind affinity to just fly. push myself away. He has a spell called trouble. levitate. He can use once a day oh, for okay. his race. Yeah. He'll remember that after he's died. Down the one Just like some yeah. other DM remembered half of my abilities after my character died. <laughs> I remember everything. <laughs> no, I know. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just pulling your leg aggressively. DB has no faith in me. I don't. <laughs> It's just <laughs> zero faith in me. That's fucked okay, up. So DP, let's discuss. Let's discuss our purpose. I got it. Let's me and you discuss this. Let's discuss it right now, in in front of everybody, because I'm I'm just going through my my spells right now. I'm just going through the spells oh, as a first level. I'm ready. Okay, um, so why why have we left our clan, our clutch, our our home? Like, why would we be out of where we were before? Um, I I would say because you're a fucking ambassador, and you want to take the the mission or the. You want to sell like who we are and what we are to everybody else, and I'm your brother, so I'm gonna. It's a good mission, it. though. What? It's a good, the the reason for it is good. Maybe the methods aren't what you want, but the reason for doing it is good. Yes, but I'm not really like I hate it. I say like stay with the clan. It's safest. It's strongest. And so like you, but you want to go out. You want to spread the message, and I'm down with that. So I'm gonna go oh, out there. And okay. You. I don't want people to fear us. I don't want people to fear the dragon, the red dragonborn. I don't want people to fear us. You're not going to fear us so long as I can tell them that you the don't mean any okay. No. Whoosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say, buddy? Never mind. I was I was quoting uh, one of the songs, sung by one of a very talented lady about the dragonborn with the guitar. Uh, oh, okay. No, nobody knows what video I'm talking about. Chat, anybody? No, just me. Okay. Nice. All right, anyway, well, in all fairness, uh, you are dragonborn. You are a rare race. You look like bloody dragons. No pun intended. Right. We're like, like we're like red dragons that walk as humans. And my goal, the reason why I'm out in the world, is to is to spread uh, like to maybe not even mend ties, but create ties with the other races of the world and 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 you know let them know that we're not we're not to be feared we can be we can be powerful allies and all that, right uh i've i've been selected because my clan kn could tell and they know from from my group my growing up that i can talk to people and i can be a good ambassador for listen our to this listen to this he's telling you that because he he got the gift he has the magic he get he can cast spells like we are not yes we i don't want to be feared but we are dangerous and i want to go out there like this guy's gonna get us all killed and he's gonna spread the wrong message mm. i am defending i'm gonna go out there to keep him alive but i'm also trying to keep his shit in check because he's gonna he's gonna send the wrong message yeah, well okay here's maybe i should go through my 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 personality stuff okay my personality trait that just a just a general overview is smooth talker mm -hmm. ideals are the are the clan clan comes first whatever can benefit us we'll do that 
Uh, my bonds uh, are with my brother, of course. And uh, my flaws, uh, one or at least one of my flaws, is I, t uh, I often talk my way into stuff I can't talk my way out of. That's where I come in. And that's where he comes in a lot of times. He has to, he has to come in and save my ass by sometimes, sometimes, frankly, brute force. Because I can... I will not let him die. It, but and he, I will not let the clan's message be like misrepresented. I will, I will save him and I will make sure that the message is spread right. But this, this guy, like he's, he thinks because he was given this gift and this power and because he can talk that that's, that's the message he's going to spread. And it's not the message we exactly want to spread. And so there, we're going to be at odds a lot from in, in this game, but. All right. But we'll, we'll get it done together. Yes, we will. We will. <laughs> it's the power of family, guy. Okay, so we actually went to break last time when you were going to like explain kind of the campaign. And not, did we ever get there? Um, not really. Okay, can we get like the overview of All like right. the world? All right, the well an overview might be a little bit too generous. Right now, as it is, um. The kingdom is trying to expand into unknown territory across the water. So they have sent out a, a party to establish a settlement. Now, this has been going on for a wee bit. A settlement has grown into a city. Uh, about, give or take, a couple of hundred people. But it's a harbor city. And they are trying to send people into the wild and have been doing so. But it seems that everybody who goes into wild ends up dead. Because the wild is very nasty. But they are trying to explore, they're trying to chart, but everybody that tries to do this seems to fail and manpower is running low because most people have died. And so support has been withdrawn from this harbor city, from the main kingdom. However, a lot of people have established lives here now and they have chosen to stay. So it's a very small settlement with a proud people in this harbor city at the edge of essentially a world that is out there to kill them. But for whatever reason, the city remains safe. And the only people that seem to be drawn to the city are people that want to go beyond the walls for, you know, the hypothetical tales of fame and glory and fortune that perhaps lay there as the city, you know, as, as something has to be out there because it's being protected by the land itself. Otherwise, why would the land retaliate with such ferocity? So, you know, only the the adventurers, the true adventurers at heart, they go into the land and come back heroes or not at all, really. That's kind of what the idea is. And what is in the wild, nobody knows because nobody has been able to chart it properly. And that's also where the, where the heroes come in. They will help everybody in the kingdom itself chart this unknown territory. So uh, those who enjoy map, maps, they uh, you can make your own map. Yeah. <laughs> because I will not keep track of all, I will keep track of things behind the scene but you know I'm not going to give you guys maps it's your job as a player and so, but essentially it's just a harbor town dangerous world kingdom is trying to expand uh, but the expansion is going rough because the world is not a nice place beyond the wall essentially okay and that's all I can really say without spoiling too much. <laughs> I don't want to really spoil um, what is killing whom, why, why, and, and the city itself, and, and things like that. So, I'm not in entirely uh, sure if I can tell more, really. But that's kind of the idea. It's a, it's a harbor city, unknown territory. That's kind of what it is outside of the kingdom. So you're, I'm assuming you're looking for a reason why Dragonborn would go forward into there. Well, we've got a, we've got an ambassador for some it, fucking reason. Jesus yeah. Christ needs to send them. <laughs> talk about, you know, the the clan, like how yes, well, I'm not gonna be fucking dragging you like every clan, step of the way. Like how how honor is. Guys, guys, is it's better. episode zero. We're not playing yet. We're not playing yet. <laughs> Listen, All listen, right. DP. No, this is uh, this is an honest question. Like, <laughs> like I'm not gonna have to fucking like drag you every step of the way, am I? No. Okay. No, he's I'm just no, gonna no, no. he's just gonna bitch about it. The whole like time. we've already we've already had these arguments. Okay. This is episode zero. We've already had these arguments. I'm with you. 
Like it will come, everything that will come later is going to come from like the conflicts that we run into at that point. Okay. But I'm already backing you. I'm behind you on it. So yeah. Good so day. our gist between you and I is to what to you? Um, yeah. What do we want to do? The, the the sad and true thing is I totally 100% believe in what you're trying to do. I just will never admit it. Okay. And you have the power to do it. And I believe you have the power to do it. And that's why I'm going to protect you every fucking step of the way. Cool. But I'm going to be critical of it. The whole Tough time. love. No, I love it. No, that's that's absolutely that's absolutely brilliant. Um, because I I think I have a feeling that I know that that's true. That's that's exactly it. It's like yeah, and I want you to follow that, and I want to like, and I'm gonna believe in that. And every time I run into like a real fucking moral dilemma, I'm gonna be like, he's right. We really need this. He needs to live to spread the message. But I, it's never gonna cr- come across in in RPG night. It you you hear it here, but gotcha. it's never gonna come across. They're never gonna see it. Okay, they're never gonna see it. But it, like I'm gonna I'm gonna fight for you to to put that message off. I'll never fucking admit it as a character. But that's the that's absolutely true. Perfect. I love it. I'm um, really fucking right. excited to play now. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's that's our kind of backstory. So we're out there um, trying to do this, and what there are many, many varied ways that we can that we can do this. And if it if it means like like helping out helping out uh, a town or a or a city or or just basically getting our name out there as you know good guys to be around and good or not be around, but like we we'll, we get things done. We're productive. Mm-hmm. We're all those things. And that, yeah, that ties in beautifully with the with the adventurers going out to uh, help e- expand the kingdom, chart it, and see sure. what great fortune and now, fame lies as, there. Right. As far as us being together, like us, we know why we're together. But as far as like um, Tangent's character and Booby's character, yeah. Why? Why? Up? Why would you guys run with my character? Exactly. What? <laughs> you know what? That frail, washed-up looking drunkard right there. That's the M territory there. Like I don't know why we're paired up with you guys yet. That's why I yeah. asked if we all knew each other when we were creating characters because I don't. I don't know why we're together. All right. I, yeah. Like that's up to you, guys. Char- perhaps my character's past notoriety and infamy. Guys, I don't it's judge just, race. I'm. I'm a. I'm a genie. I just I like to have sex with everything. I'm a motherfucking air wizard. I'm a motherfucking air wizard, motherfucker. <laughs> Dear God, help me. <laughs> no, I just want to know, like, if it's got the vagina, a, I'm in it. I'm sure there's going to be a quest of some sort. You like guys, some... you guys need a safe a safe cracker or a <laughs> or something. And you're like, oh, I heard of this guy way back in the day. I hear he's somewhere in this ye old town. Right, and that's what I'm saying. Like, the and then quest you find me face down in, you know, <laughs> a bottle and like a four out of ten wench, and it's just a bad. And I am, and I'm totally receptive to any of that. Like, however we meet <laughs> these characters, like I, I'm down with it. Like I, I can, like I can role play that shit. Like the the idea that we find them and the reasons that they're important. Like I can fucking make believe that and I can make that come true and I can I can believe that we were supposed to meet that guy who is fucking four out of ten. Why? <laughs> like I can make that happen. Like yeah, I, nice. can make, I can make believe there's a you're reason. gonna you're because you're gonna need to. <laughs> yeah I, and I will make sure be. that there's a reason you need to be be there but my I, question to, to Ace is like you have like something set up for us like at least choice wise for us to like like a like a quest like something of oh that yeah like, like yeah I, i've got some together. yeah I, I have some basic railroad quests essentially to kick off the campaign with uh and okay. then we'll then it's based on what you guys want to do because i will put hooks well, in it I can like, make, yeah we can make up reasons for like yeah we exactly heard, we heard 
about this guy we there may be some some doors or stuff like that that we need to get around and we heard that he's cheap and he's you know he's ready to go he doesn't yeah. have like supposedly he was some big shot but i don't know there you go disposable <laughs> Yeah. yeah, like no, no, that's not a problem. Like I, I will have some, uh, I will have a handful of quests to kick every level one character off with. Did you get to choose? Did you bump into? You know, maybe just in the inn, maybe on a poster board somewhere, right? And then now, did Booby describe his guy? Uh, not my yet. My guy is troubled. We'll say like okay. he, some shit happened uh, in his past that forced him away from his monastery and just society in general. He uh, he's trying to make up for it to himself. He's trying to find his place in the world after having this devastating thing happen to him. And that's why he's out in the world just nomadically just walking around. It, he's not specifically in it for adventure or money or fame or anything. He's just trying to find redemption and a place for himself. I love that. I, I can make that work. We can we can fucking. He's not he's not very good at talking to people. His charisma's pretty shit, but he's very confident in himself and his abilities. I don't need that. Yeah, like mm. I think like we can fucking role play that right in. I'm yeah, not worried it, about that. Yeah, and there's plenty of reasons why somebody like your character would be in this new settlement because not a lot of people yeah. go there anyway because it's dangerous. The people that are there, they don't care. They they don't care about who you are and whatnot. If you it, it, like, if you're familiar at all with like, you know, Eastern tropes at all, but like the wandering like samurai slash Ronin, yeah. Ronin dude, yeah, like it's very like similar that. to that. Yeah, see, I can do, I can work. We can work that. We can work that. That's okay. I'm not worried. About I wanted that. it to like, like general, be like simple, like a general uh, idea that uh, you can you can move towards yourself, but can also mesh with many many other different yeah. types of characters, like. Like our thing is just get out in the world, get our get like you know spread the word that you know we're easy and then stuff like that, and we'll we'll like prove ourselves to uh, other communities that we that the Dragonborn are that are we're okay and you can talk to us and we'll set up lines of communication and whatnot, like tangents, like ready for one last hurrah as like a you know one like last a, score. Exactly. Yeah. One last score. Yeah, that, like, yeah, and the beauty and maybe of if he is... likes it, he'll keep going and that kind of shit. Like, I can dig that. And Booby's like a troubled person, but, tr you know, trying to find his way. And, like, that's, like, so general that I think we can all, like, you know, like, come together on, like, one thing. Even if it's just, like, kill goblins, it's like, you have a reason for doing it. I do. We do. Like, that kind of stuff. That's the Dragon like, Bros uh, have just got some stuff and things to do. Well, you see, and that's, all, the, that's all I wanted to, to know. No, like, so, yeah, so they're with the party. Like, these guys are a means to an end. But sometimes, stuff. on, like, that third night around the campfire, just there's going to be those feels. They're going to be like, you know what? These guys aren't so bad. You know what? We're going <laughs> to run with them. No, for so, reals, I honestly gonna, see... I see Tangent as the, like, if we had a protagonist... He's the he's the main character. I see. You I, I, I am going to try to like. I'm going to try and do some surprises. He's here. he's like the try. wimp main character. That the underdog. Really do Are you looking for the one underdog here? But is surrounded by like all of the great people. <laughs> yeah, no, and that's you're basically I'm Frodo for the I most. I love part. that idea. Yeah, except that I mean, like even Samwise is cooler than him, though. You know, <laughs> when it comes down to everything. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're Frodo, bear. and everybody else is just everything else. You know. Yeah, they well, just do it all, and you well, like just I hold said, the ring and be a baller in that way. Yeah, so it's like getting this party together is absolutely not a problem by the sounds it, of it. I'm I'm looking you know. for this to be not about the destination, but the journey. That's what this. There is you go. Be. It always is. It's going to be about that time I roll a 15 and it actually passes a save. It's gonna be about, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna baby. Be about that <laughs> it's going to be about that time where I see an enemy in in splint mail and I go, "Oh God, do I have to roll attack?" And I, land, and I land one. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> but I nah, nearly I'm... escaped that fireball. Yeah, like it, it should be fine. Like, like this party, uh, no, no, I have. It's gonna be. It's gonna be fucking awesome. I don't know. Uh, you, you keep trying to like make me feel good, Wolf. I'm no, feeling I'm great. Saying, I'm saying. I was gonna <laughs> say that this party will be good together. <laughs> there will. I'm not. You know, fuck you. Or your character will die. There will be a dragon that just eats it up or something and spits it out because it's not good enough to eat. <laughs> and just as you were talking, giant rock out of nowhere, <laughs> dead. Yeah, you know, oops, or sudden cliff that you stumble if, upon. If, if that if that happens, then I'm telling you right now, I'm I'm gonna 
re-roll Seth Rogen as a bard comedian. Fucking <laughs> 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 Seth oh, Rogen, oh my god. And then 18s, 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 and an 8. Um, no, like, uh, this, yeah, it's always like an interesting beginning, like, most of my 3.5 campaigns, and when I say most, I mean like 99%, where I was playing, they always ended up starting in like a bar fight. Always, it yep. just became like this, this fucking, fight. this, this damned meme almost. Like every campaign with new characters or a new person ended up in get, getting together because of a bar fight. Like, so it's so much interesting to see like unique ways to getting characters together. But it sounds like this group already has a way to getting people together, which is very good, and it also thematically makes sense. I'm very excited about that. I just I wish I could tell more about the about the the story itself, but I want to keep that, you know. When do we? What's the day we start again? Uh, next next week, week, Monday, same time, Monday. same place, same channel. Okay, because I didn't know we were gonna go like week to week to week. That's probably something that everybody needs to know. Like next next week on Monday. We're... Yeah, like the the nineteenth, three p.m. PST, essentially the same time on the same day. Just next week, episode one will kick off. And I will try to keep going once a week. It doesn't necessarily always have to be on the Monday because sometimes it doesn't work. That's that's also what's so good about the flexible roster and the flexible times and days and such. We have playroom with that. As long as we know it well enough in advance, we can advance and, you know, tweet it out and all that well, jazz. Well, it'd be nice to have, like, the same group, like, week after week. I, I Yeah. You know. Yeah, oh, I know. Like, I, I like... I, a... I, I want to I start right now. I want to see where this party goes. <laughs> same. <laughs> No, I, I don't mind having the same group. It's just that it, with the same group, it does bring certain challenges in terms of scheduling and um, uh, and just getting people together, the same people over and over. Because you know, like if there's a comic con, uh, fucking maybe. got me, man. I'm gonna yeah, be a rock every, right, every right. Monday. Mm, yes, you're gonna, gonna be hard be for me. Here. Good. I'm gonna um, be here. Oh, good. I'm always doing this day. Well, you know, like you have things like Dan Paul, like you have kids, for example, right? Like those, those well, buggers, but those can, that there, there can be, you know, you, you, the, the babysitter yeah, might have come one day. That was a little, this was the very first time with the first babysitter. Like, like this was a trial kind of thing, but I mean, it's, I, I'm pretty good on like, oh, okay. That's fine. That's actually, my point is that life happens for anyone and everyone. And I don't want my campaign to like be on hold for like a month because one player has, you know, something else that is just important for whatever reason, right? It's uh, I would feel really bad because I want to play the fucking game, and also I feel I bad for anybody be stopped for a month. Well, who? Um, let me just ask this: Who cuts into their streaming schedule, their normal streaming schedule, to do this on? If they we're gonna do this on Mondays, who cuts into their normal streaming schedule? I I, I, st I stop my stream about five or six hours early to be here. I do, yeah. Okay. But that's but that's okay because now here's the thing. I've, I've been wanting to fucking play with you guys for like. But this is better. Well, yeah. No, listen, listen. Like since before I was a streamer, like watching some of you guys doing right. stuff. Like, and this is what I'm saying. This this is the compromise then, and this is what we do on drop frames. Uh, if we're cutting into our streaming schedule to do this every Monday night, uh, we can switch the we can rotate channels. We could rotate channels, and we can take that concept. Um, but that 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 it does All require. But all we do for drop frames is give you, we trust you, Ace, with, with, this, the, stream with key. the stream key. Yeah, yeah. And you I'm, just stream from our thing, whatever. Yeah, I know how the system works, and we just like channel rotate the channels and such. That could work if we have a set group. That is absolutely not a problem. However, right now I have built my campaign on the philosophy that the group most likely will end up switching uh, every two or three weeks, if not. I'm not going early. anywhere unless you kill me. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm down, to, I'm down to role play every week if you yeah. want. Yeah, yeah, that. No, that that's that. Okay, well, in that case, I may have to adjust a few things. Ha! Huh. Um, <laughs> um, God damn well, it! Was, here's the thing: it was hard. I know how hard it is to get a group together. But if I you know got a group that's solid, that wants to do it every week. And well, in I, that I, I consider us all friends, and we're all we're all good to. Well, and like, like, like for example, like See, we're um, more than friends. Get a room. Um, well, well, now yeah, that, yeah, that bathroom well, break. That supposed to be surprising? <laughs> no, it's, it's, uh, for example, one of the things that I explained at the beginning of this little uh, little get together was that each session was essentially an adventure, right? A quest of sorts. Um, that's what we're aiming for. It's like a four session, like it's a one shot essentially. Uh, we go out there, we do our thing. We, at the end of the session, we return. If we have the stable, we have a stable group. 
this doesn't have to be the case because we can just make camp somewhere and continue there next week so goal. that rule gets out of the goes out of the window so things like that would have to be adjusted plus i may have to completely readjust some other things but that is on me as a dm um it shouldn't be too much of a problem yeah let me let me let me muse on that let me let me muse on that sorry let me muse on that it's it's if you can keep all of your first level like quests and stuff just put better monsters in it <laughs> no, like, though, like the, the thing is my world doesn't really care what level you are if if you see something that's evil and painful you're gonna attack it it will kill you like i say like i said stupidity will be punished like if you're gonna be level one and attack a dragon that you happen to stumble upon unlikely but not impossible the d100 can be nasty um you know like you will be punished by death because the dragon will kill you that's just Kind of how it goes. Can I have more, I have um, more first level spells than two? Sorry? Can I have more than more than two first level spells? As a sorcerer? Look no. Look Wait, don't you? <laughs> it was worth asking. I'll try. Like, don't you have three? No, I get two. But uh, if I'm going to be OP, I'm going to be OP as fuck. If I can. Wait, I thought you had three, or is it the wizard? <laughs> oh, no way, you have three cantrips, I think. Four, actually. Four cantrips. Oh, and two well, okay. Spells. Mr. I have all cantrips, Jesus. Um, Jesus Christ, four cantrips, fuck. Light, prejudice, and then two attack spells, acid, and then something else probably. Anyway, um, let me muse on that because I like the idea of having a set group because then you can actually get into character and you can build that, that a connection with it a lot easier if you each play each week uh, as opposed to- Do you not see this? Do you not see this chat, DM? It's electric. They want this team. Yeah, they, want this they, they, will, they will settle for nothing less. They you want us inside of them. You've, given, you've given them a taste. They want <sighs> yeah, well, I hate here, Here's Ace. Listen, this is this is how uh, I've like it's been handled in the past, like uh, tabletop wise, like just gathering up. Yeah. Um, and how he's handled it as well. Um, if someone uh can't make it, dies, moves away, or something like that, you keep the same party together. You just grab a new player. Yeah, yeah. Like, or a new player, or like a new, introduce a new character if, uh, if the same players are around. Right. Or, yeah, if I can make it one week, say like, you know, one of the brothers had like a fucking... Yeah, you don't... Urinary tract infection or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't, couldn't the, the brothers are bailing though, like, let's get real. These fuckers are bailing. If he bails, he's a puss. And if I bail, I'm a puss. Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not going to be one of us. It's going to be one it's of these just, other two. No, I'm fine. I'm fine with like this group. I'm fine with that concept. Like I said, I would have to. I'm going to have to have the entirety of next week to adjust fucking everything. Um, but that's going to be fine. That's on me. I don't mind doing that. Um, yeah, it's just like I would have to figure out a system that allows me to easily introduce new characters in case somebody doesn't come. Because I don't like to play with like, you know less than four people it feels a little bit too small like three people i can do it's just that if it becomes two people it just feels awkward in a way i think if we just play with two people uh and five is would be too much so yeah it, i mean we, we might we might have like a, a cast uh, or like you know characters that pop in from now and then as, as fill-in characters essentially we could do that right. yeah like there's ways to deal it there's, there's plenty of ways to deal with it like i'm not i'm not worried about that it's just that i had something else right. planned and that just went is just throw it out of the window. Is it my entire well, campaign it, planning is just gone? <laughs> well, the reason why I brought the brought up switching in new characters from time to time or new players from time to time um, for people that because uh, like frankly, I just get I get asked to for, by Twitch to like do shit like host things mm -hmm. like like th I mean he's an important think, but, like, person, he stars guys. like PAX Australia is at the end of the month. Yeah, and that kind of shit. So there are times when I won't be able to be here. And I like that's what I that's why I brought it up. Like I want to be with this group, and I don't want it to stop just because of you know I got tapped to do whatever the fuck. No, exactly. Um, that so that's my concern as well because we are all casters here, and like you know, like we're we have a pretty <sighs> well traveled cast, if you will, like with the cons and such. And I want to continue playing, and that's why I build the campaign premise on the flexible roster and just go with who you have and just kick ass and chew bubble gum. Yeah, but yeah, if we're gonna stick to a more um, set group, like if the vet, if the main majority of the group just dies off, then I would have to cancel the show, and that would be unfortunate as well. Wait, unless we, we, 
could make secondary characters, and if one person or two people can't make it, maybe we could switch to that other party. Who's somebody yeah, like, and I suppose if worse comes to worse, and this entire group besides myself can't make it, I can just grab four other people and just, like, do an, a side quest of sorts, perhaps. Or we could, or we just take that week off, just so long as you said before, we just let's just not take the month off. Just take the week off, that's fine. You know? Yeah, like, I just don't want to do that, because I love the indie. Um... Really? Really, Zeke? You're gonna let Chet decide? Really? I'm disappointed. Oh, I am. Hey, I'm just throwing out, I'm throwing out suggestions. Oh, may my... Is everybody... Oh, do we have all the character? Are all the characters built? Do you, Ace, do you have what you need? I, uh, the only thing that I would want from you guys after this, uh, preferably sooner than later, is essentially, especially now that we are more building a set group, is, uh, some, right. some kind of, like, Word document or, like, a Google Doc with your background written and if okay. there are relations with other characters their relations if that makes sense why well, do you think i spun off my my weird weirdo fan fiction i wrote earlier i'm already ahead of that curve well there oh, you go yeah. well he's already it's ahead of the curve like, guys guys let's all maybe we all like do a, a google doc and share it with each other so that everybody can see and then we just keep building off it so well in this case if there are certain things that Certain characters want to remain secret, especially when fleshing out the background, then we can keep that secret from this point forward. Uh, if we you, start building you a Google guys, Docs. Well, you only share what you'd want to then in that Google Doc. But yeah, but I need to know, know everything about your character, because I'm the DM. Hmm. Don't, get, don't get the damn Google Doc. Okay, Ace. all right. Uh, all will you want a communal Google Doc is what you want. We can all contribute to it. Nah, just like give me all. just... Uh, if for each character, uh, just just link me in Discord like a Google Doc of sorts. Ace, Ace, and that's make it. Make a Discord server right now for this, so we can just. Uh, I will do it after the cast. I have a lot of things oh. open right now, and things are getting chaotic on my screen. But um, so we can all just have that yeah. place to chat about it specifically. Yeah, and if you guys just then want to get like uh, want to get your backgrounds and possible relations and information that you think is important for me, that I can then draw from to build the world, to influence certain, you know, to, to create their certain things and such, to make it more interesting, that would be great. And beyond that, I think the only thing we have left is literally, if you guys desire, is put characters in Roll20. Oh, yeah, I'm already, I'm already putting my guys in, yeah. Yeah. my stats in and all I, that. Roll20 is so I, useful I for that. It, but, like... But I still, like, even though it's a roll 20, I still want you guys to make sure that you give me uh, information itself as well. Especially because roll 20 doesn't allow itself, as far as I'm aware, to, like, easily homebrew things. So we may have to make a separate section for that. In case that comes up. I, I doubt it, but who knows. And definitely the background as well, because... I'm fully willing to, to sit here, like, afterwards and type out, like, at least a paragraph or two about... Yeah about dp and i's background oh that's fine like I'm yeah already, i'll i'll be around already. anyway so but yeah like we, we only have like uh, about half an hour left of so uh about half an hour left on the show because i only want to do four hour sessions i don't want to exhaust anyone too much so beyond that yeah after that what sorry you said it's been that long already it yeah. just flew by i know Whoa. that's a good I sign yeah <laughs> every time Every time anybody asks me what's my favorite yeah. game, it's also always. now that I have your attention, how the fuck do you do a Scottish accent? Oh, you, I mean, if you want to do like a mush mouth one, yeah, like from fucking Hearthstone, like fucking yeah. not, not, everyone get in there. No, not that one. The just a like regular that. like kind of like a Scottish like a, a Scottish tone to like you speak. Can't. It's they're so impossible. It's so impossible. It's fuck. You're actually so imitate. close. Like. You're you're actually not that far away. Like watch like watch train spotting and, and see if you can pick out how they fucking make vowels. Like I... give a Scottish person a word with vowels in it, <laughs> and I guarantee disappear. you he's gonna pronounce it different than you think he is. I but it's just honestly, like what you I mean don't. So what uh, so this is northern winds. This is northern winds, like what's the I, I kinda wanna hear what the background is like. Why is it northern winds? What is it about? Oh, What's like that's kind of the things that I kind of want to keep away from. Like that's that's what session one is kind of about. About uh, what Northern Winds is about? Uh, well, the North. I, I, I guess there's gonna be a lot of flavor in there. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I guess yeah, I can explain it. Right. 
I can explain it a little bit with... I'm trying to explain it without giving too far, too much away. But essentially, the reason why it's called the Northern Winds, this campaign... Dead cat on... Uh, hang on, there's a dead cat. Oh, Tangent. My cat uh, is asleep on my... Oh, oh he's alive. Oh, he's alive. Did you oh, shave alive. your it's cat? It's fine. You may continue. Is he's that alive. cat shaven? I was worried he was dead. Okay, you can go ahead. Yeah, she's growing her summer coat back. She's uh, got her little lion. Do my effects work on this? I thought I'd yes. get away with just yes, throwing her. Oh. Yes, they do. Sorry for you. Get that pussy over here. Yeah. I'm gonna kick yeah. that pussy. I'm gonna tear it a new pussy. This, <laughs> this pussy's gonna, gonna get that pussy. pussy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and I'm, I'm filthy and old. I'm gonna get, get it all dirty. She's like a baby. Jesus she's Christ. She's like a young, young yeah. baby cat. <laughs> Someone licked that cat at TwitchCon. It was disgusting. <laughs> All right, then. Anyway, as um, to continue what DP was asking, the reason why this campaign is called the Northern Winds is because the territory that you guys have access to initially um, when you start playing the campaign is... has a has a, like a, a Highlands feel to it. Like the It's like cool summers. Overall, uh, chilly and cold. And the position of this particular town is also north of the kingdom. And, the, the, and thus, it's called the Northern Winds, because that's kind of what the, the basic relation to that name is. However, the, for the kingdom, perhaps might be nice to know. The kingdom perceives the Northern Winds as a very dangerous territory, because as I said, people have died trying to get this settlement to go, and this is also one of the reasons why the kingdom has kind of given up on it in terms of throwing money at it, because it didn't seem to work, because people kept dying. So it's known as, as a dangerous place, people don't want to go to it. It's on the north end of the kingdom, after uh, across the water, a whole new continent. And then, what can I say else? Um, I think that's kind of what I can say beyond it, really. Otherwise, I might literally give away big things, and I don't want to do that. That's fine. That's that, that, but yeah, like it's 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 honestly, it just sounded like an epic name, and I rolled okay. with it. No, and I like it. I like it a lot. And this starts next week, next Monday. Ah, yep. So it's just okay. it's just you know it's windy. It's on the north end. Yeah, north the winds. There you go. Boom. Okay. But yeah, like once you start playing the campaign, you will start to figure out that the city has a particular background to it and such, which will definitely give a lot of flavor. Um, the the remaining stuff, like I, I have a lot of stuff that I didn't communicate to you. Like I need to send that to you now. Um, how do you mean, like? Um. Well, like you didn't even, you didn't hear like where where I'm gonna put my stuff like that oh yeah like that's that's what i meant with um you know getting the background and such just put your skills and and your stats on that as well it would be would be pleasant and once everything is put into like roll 20 like i can look at that as well in terms of stats and skills and such okay so that shouldn't be too much of an issue no uh, I, I, I don't think so all right i think beyond that i think we're done for today then for the cast itself Unless somebody has uh, has oh. other questions or anything else, no. Oh, I feel I feel good, pretty good. I feel yeah. good about this group. Um, no. One I'm question good. I did have about Booby's character. Now, yeah, baby, you're a uh, a Dijin ish kind of a person, like a like a pretty magical, right? In what way do you mean magical? Are you uh, human? -ish? No, 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 no. I'm half human. Like I'm half. Like I'm born of. Like my dad was basically a, a genie and okay. banged my mom and then bounced. Basically, how is how it works? Okay. Is, that, is that your background? Because I believe Genasi were plain touched. Well, plain touched, yeah. Damn. But that's basically how I'm reading. It. Okay, fine. Fair. Essentially, like you know how tieflings are touched by the lower planes, yeah. or have like a, a a particular ancestry who is from the lower planes. Genasi are like that, but then with their respected elemental plane. So either a genie, an air genie has fucked one of your ancestors, or you were touched by the actual plane itself. So that's up for you to decide. As a as a character. So either fucking or touching. Like 
walks and talks like a regular yeah, yeah, yeah. human. But he, like, but he can talk. Uh, well, you have languages. So uh, here, I'll just copy this for you. <laughs> yeah, I think you have primordial, common, and depending primordial. on your background, you might have it's another. Just primordial uh, and common. Yeah, like okay, your background didn't have anything else. I didn't think so. What was your background again? Uh. Hermit. A hermit gets another language, one of your choice. Oh, one of my choice? Yeah. So you would have, um, yeah, know. primordial, common, and something else. I'd go draconic. <laughs> I, I mean, I was thinking I'd go draconic. I'd go draconic. Well, it's an old, it's an old language. It just, it makes Automatic sense users, since there's two users, fucking users, draconics okay, in my goddamn party. That and then there's a couple draconic people in the party. Okay, I see. I see what they look like now. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah. I mean, you're you're gonna be a weird like blue skin color or something. Yeah, with like it's gonna be weird shit gonna be on my weird, arms and stuff. But like I I I pasted in the little <laughs> Zoom chat. Two epic <laughs> dragons, a fucking air elemental descendant, and then a human. Beautiful. And then, and then, and there's like <laughs> Wesley from Princess Bride. No, like, yeah, he's he's like, older, so he's more like Dr. Lawrence from Saw now. Yeah, dude. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking like Nathan Drake or like, you know. Ah, oh, dude, Carrie Elwes, Wesley. There you go. Yeah, and I do, uh, hope, dude, I do hope you guys also, uh, once you work it out uh, the upcoming week, make sure that you have a good visual on how your character looks so when you can describe your character, we can also vividly imagine it. However, just just an FYI, I don't want any copyrighted images in Roll Twenty, just to avoid certain issues. If that's okay, sure. like if you wanna, like if somebody made fan art, if you wanna use that fan art, make sure that the artist who made the fan art writes off on it. I was just, honestly just going to like tweet out some like, can you could someone possibly draw this? Idea? Yeah, Aww. like like I, I think that's fine. I love I need fan an art. artist. I, I fucking love fan art. It's I'm just that, you know, like I there are. This team. I, I, have, I had I had my my character image all all ready to go before I did the one eighty to this character that we have here. Oh, there you the, go. Uh, it's just that I don't want to run into copyright issues because I will be posting these things on YouTube and such. Um, in 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 one hour sessions and such. So it's just um a matter to avoid issues with YouTube because we all know how YouTube is. 10 out of 10. So, I just just preemptively just an FYI. If that's just yeah. Just make sure to write on. That's all. That's all. That's all. Handicap Hobo, how you doing, mate? How you doing? There's a couple there's a, actually a couple of artists in the chat. Oh, there's artists. Hey, there's hey. Matt and there's artists. There's yeah. artists. Olaf here. and Hobo. Hey, Matt, hey, Olaf. Uh, how you guys doing? How you doing? Wow. <laughs> Hey hobo, you wanna you wanna play some Destiny? Yeah, you, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> did you Z? Did you get the message? I wrote the message down to give to you. I don't know what message from hobo in Discord. Like so, you me and hobo. Any message from hobo? Yes, I did. Hobo. Did. Yes, I did. I wrote it down so I, I know, could I tell it to you. Reading it right now. All right. I'm actually kind of excited that we have Dragonborns because they don't get played often enough. I think they're so wonderful. And then Janassi, that's going to be interesting as well. I've never played a dragon. I don't even know how. That's the thing. Like, I don't even know how their their how like our voice is going to sound because obviously it's, it's not going to be my. It's going to be good. Voice. Yeah, it's up to you. Like, I get, like I do hope it. You know, like if you guys feel comfortable enough, you do use voices and such, and and I will hope uh, that try to act as much as possible. You know, if you can. <laughs> Sorry. If you if you if you feel comfortable, try to act as much as possible. Uh, otherwise, be <laughs> <laughs> I love that candid. Fuck. I love it. I'm sorry. What Just is that? Look at Candid's picture. <laughs> That's oh, a great picture. That was my that was my original picture. <laughs> uh, that was a fucking big beard. Nice. That was fucking nice. Beautiful. That that's uh, Giant's Bane from Game of Thrones with the yeah. face on him. But nice. yeah, I was gonna do uh, some sort that's of barbarian, beautiful. and then I saw my stats, and I'm like, mm, I have to slap that face on Wesley at some point. <laughs> you can yeah. smell that character. Dude. You can smell that character. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
was like musk pheromones oh, are going yeah. everywhere and it's awkward it's all over sexy. yeah that, that's called musk um um so i don't know about you guys but every time i um every time i tweet anything about this i always hashtag the uh, hashtag the northern winds mm -hmm. okay cool i've been doing it as well yeah i would like to yeah, i would I like to that, that. do that yeah, All right. Just, just, what do you mean? What color am I? Just to get the name out there or whatever. Okay. Matt, yeah. do you have Twitter? It's just easier to talk there. Yeah, yeah, let's talk to Matt a little bit. Yeah. Um, no, it's just, yeah, like beyond that, um, anything else? No, I think uh, I think we're pretty pretty much good then. We have the characters built. We uh, I will receive the backgrounds from all of you guys uh we'll put them in roll 20 uh either later today or among this week i will have to do a lot of adjustments to well, the i'm campaign. already just like putting it in there yeah that's fine that's fine just let me know that when you are done um you know like i can walk through it and such and uh just make sure you give me a google doc link and so i can save it and uh, read up on it and whatnot all right i think beyond that we are good to go no extra questions no Vague things, perhaps, perchance. No, no. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to type yeah. up some shit. I'm All right, yeah, awesome. I'm doing. And we're out below four hours. So, um, before I sign off, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's a good time to once again uh, just you know do shout outs. We'll go around. We'll do some shout outs. Um, so you can follow these beautiful bastards, and then uh, I'll end it. All right. So Zeke, do some shout outs. Yo. Will do. My name is Ezekiel the Third. I'm a variety broadcaster. I love, love, love role playing. Um, glad to be a part of it. Thank you, Wolves, for inviting me along. I want to thank Tangent, Sour Kool Aid Show, and Booby Dooby for being along as well. Um, I do uh, broadcast usually starting at noon Pacific on my channel, but uh, I'll be here on Mondays, hopefully, May or maybe I'll be. On you Monday. better be, otherwise I will get you. No, no, I will be playing this on Mondays. Okay, I, good. I, I'm good. cool with this on Mondays. I'm fine. But uh, that's all. Thanks for having me along. There you go. Dan Paul, do some shout outs. Hey, um, I'm Dan Paul. I am. Don't be too uh, excited. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm Sarah Kuli Show. Uh, I do a role playing stream on Wednesdays. Um, I'll be streaming later tonight. Give me about a half hour to get that ready. But. Uh, I, I do, I, I love role playing. I'm excited to be a part of this, and uh, you can. I'm sure if you give a shit, you can find me. Sour Kool Aid Show. Yeah, yeah. Okay then. Um, of course we have the wonderful tangent as well. Average Joe. Hi, my name. My name is Eloheim. You can catch me. <laughs> <up here. laughs> my name is Seth. <laughs> Nah, Tangent Gaming on Twitch. Uh, I am a full-time variety caster. Uh, you can catch me if I drag myself out of bed on time, probably by 11 o'clock in the morning, probably closing up shop by about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. <laughs> Anywhere from 7 to 12 hours every day, seven days a week. So, yes, a big thank you to Wolf for putting this together and uh, Zeke, DP, Booby, uh, all you guys, this is my first serious D, D campaign being a part of on twitch and uh, i absolutely love this stuff so i'm really excited so thank you guys all right and last but definitely not least booby hi um i'm booby dooby uh yeah that's about that's about it no uh thank you guys for you know having this newbie along uh i'm gonna have a shit ton of questions and I'm not going to fuck it up for you, DP, so you can stop being a goddamn some bitch about it. I'm going to fuck it up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remember things. I'm going to remember that I have levitate and I can breathe underwater yeah. and forever. Because fuck you. Just because you were like, oh, no, he's going to die first. I hope so. We'll see. I really just want now like you to die first. That's, that's what Ouch. I feel in my heart. Jeez. Because Ouch. of that. But, killing uh, off the, nice. the killing off the twins. <laughs> I see how it is. All right, and but yeah, and my really face. Yeah, and some of you may mind the face. My name is uh, is the Ace from the Wolf Riders channel. Um, I'm not sure what channel rotation we will do if we do end up doing a channel rotation. Like I said, I have to muse about things and such. But otherwise, I do encourage you to follow everybody here. Um, 
Zeke, Tangent, Sour Kool-Aid, and of course, Bubi. Follow them on Twitter as well. That's where I will also be posting my updates about this campaign over at, uh, at Wolves Go Rar. Other than that, I will see you guys hopefully uh, next week, same time, 3 p.m. PST on this channel for some actual role-playing episode one of the Northern Winds. Yes. And with having that said, ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. Thank you so much for coming out. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank Bye. you. Bye, guys. That was... Whoa.